What up, freaks? We're getting set up for a cardio boot camp session. So he's gonna be very upper body dominant. The legs are still gonna be working, but they're gonna be working just to kind of keep the blood blood flowing. But it's gonna be a ton of upper body. Your upper body's gonna be burning out. All you need for this entire workout is a light pair of dumbbells, and light I mean freaking light. Like literally, I'm using a pair of 10 pound dumbbells. Tyson's using how much? Five. What are you using? Two. Two. Dose. So all you need is a light pair of dumbbells for the entire workout, but it's going to be fast paced. We're we'll moving around. We're doing literally hundreds and hundreds of sets because we'll be switching stuff up on the fly. So before we even get started, let's just get moving to get warmed up. And as we're going, if you have any questions, we're live on the Instagrams and all the other stuff. Just put a message down there below if you have any questions. So let's get warmed up. We need to get these shoulders loosened up. So we're going to, while we're walking forward, big forward shoulder circles. And we're going to the side. Big forward shoulder circles while you're walking forward. Backward shoulder circles while you're walking backward. Don't bust your ass and step over your dumbbells. While we're doing this warm, go run and get yourself a pair of dumbbells. Literally, I'm talking light. Like anywhere from two to 10 pounds probably is all you need. So big loose. Backward shoulder circles going backwards. Forward shoulder circles going forward. Backwards going backwards. Forward going forward. All right, now we're gonna go with stretching legs a little bit. Even though your upper body is gonna be working probably a lot more today than your legs, your legs are still gonna be working because every set still has leg movement. It's just not any crazy plyometrics today because we've been going so freaking hard that it's kind of a, I'm not gonna say recovery day for the legs, but it's a blood flow day for the freaking legs. Blood flow. As you move forward, you're gonna do a knee hug, stretch your hips and oh. glutes. Oh yeah, so you're stretch, stretching them, oh, coming yeah. forward. And as you go back, you do you're gonna do these quad stretches. Quad stretches. These quad stretches. These, we're gonna do these quad stretches, going back. So hold it for one to three seconds. Like, However long you need to, step in. I was like, so the next step. I forgot you're, if you have a balance problem, hold on to a midget, any midget, any, if you can find a midget to lean on to, the perfect source for holding your balance. So quad stretch is going backwards, knee hug, knee hug going forward. And who says I'm not a hugger? Look, knee hugging. You're hugging yourself. And we probably have plenty of tree huggers out there too. Quad stretch going backwards. And tree huggers going forward. Tree? Nut huggers going forward. Remember source? I'm your oh, source. Oh yeah, stretch them, stretch them, stretch them. Remember I'm your source. All right, we're going back to these shoulders, except now you're gonna fling them open side to side. You're gonna come out to the side, right on my top, right on my bottom. Sorry. Right on my top, right on my bottom. Anyone gets beside you, slap them. Slap them upside the head. Little B-I-T-C-H backhand. Hey. Fling them. Stretch. You're going to get knocked out. Stop. I'm trying to stretch over here. Right on my top, right on my bottom. Now catch for a stretch. Hold for three, two, one. Fling it. Catch the other side for three, two, one. Fling it. Stretch it. Three, two, one. Fling it. Stretch it. Three. What the heck? Two. One, shake it, shake those arms out, shake them, stretch them. When you get hamstring stretches in place, so one leg, your front leg is straight with your toes up in the air, up on your heel. Stop what we're doing today. Stretch it, stand up straight, and then the other side. Hold it just for a couple seconds. This front leg is straight, back leg is bent, toes are up in the air, fling it, stretch it. Stretch it. We're on day 25 of the 365 day training challenge. We were doing a freak workout 365 days a year. We're not taking any days off this entire freaking year. And that is some commitment and discipline to say that right from the start of the year that we are taking zero days off. All right, so get your little dumbbells out. I'm gonna walk you through how this is gonna work. This first round is kind of a dumbbell, kind of a warm up round. So get your little dinky cardio dumbbells out. So listen up. You can't keep talking. Listen. You can't keep talking. Stop. Go. Go. Drop. Stop. 
So the way it, there's going to be an exercise with the legs. Every one of these rounds is going to go with different variations with the arms. Nice. Didn't even make the warm up. Not even through the warm up. So every every exercise with the legs, you're going to have a bunch of variations. Let's, let's, so our exercise with the legs right now is going to be standing in fucking place. So just stand there so you can see the different ways we're going to use your arms. We're going to do shoulder presses, both arms together. You can see how, look how fast I'm going. I'm still controlling it, but I'm pumping it. So we're doing shoulder press, both arms together. In those same sets, we're going to transition with a bicep curl, both arms together. Depending on the set of the legs, it's either going to be palms up or palms in, whatever makes more sense depending on the exercise. So you can see they're both arms together. Now we're going to go back, the same leg exercise, which is standing in place, very difficult exercise for leg, right? Standing in place, to now, right arm only. Nice. Big wild guess, what do you think is coming up next? Mm. Hurry up, Kettlebell bro. swings. Left arm only. Oh. My left arm's a little jacked, so I'm gonna go a little different angle and pace, but just keep pumping it. Then we have alternating arms with one arm at a time. Oh, sorry, screwed that up. Bicep curl, right arm only, pumping it. See, we're going fast because this is gonna go with different exercises that you're doing. And left arm only for the curl. Pump it in. So we have shoulder press, double arm, shoulder press, single arm. Now we're going back to shoulder press, alternating arm, but one arm at a time. One arm at a time. And let's go to biceps, alternating. Let's go palms at a time, one at a time. So see, so you're going to be doing all these different variations while you're doing an exercise with the legs. So it's going to be fast pace. Now let's go shoulder press, alternating both moving right here bam see it's gonna be much faster pace so depending on the exercise it's gonna have a little different flow to it and alternating biceps both moving pumping it again sometimes palms up sometimes palms will be in pumping it pumping it pumping it pumping it all right so that's the different variations so again put them down shake them out get a quick stretch we're just getting loosened up so think about it so we had Double arm shoulders, double arm buys. We had right arm only shoulders, left arm only shoulders, right arm only buys, left arm only buys. Then we had alternating shoulders with only one moving at a time, alternating buys with only moving one at a time. Then alternating shoulders, both moving, alternating buys, both moving. Though all those variations for every single exercise that legs mix in with. So we're gonna start off kind of slow so you can get to the flow and we'll gradually pick up the pace as we go. But your arms should be pumping the entire time. I'm telling you, I'm only using 10 pounders. Even just going through those warm-ups, my arms are already working, they're already getting pumped up. So this is, we're thinking about using your upper body to create a cardio effect. It's not supposed to be a heavy weight, but it should be burning, should be getting you out of breath, should be pushing the pace. So we're gonna start simple. With the legs, all we're gonna do is front kicks. So you're non-stop, literally, doing front kicks while you're doing the first exercise, which was shoulder press, both up. So this is a pretty easy one because we're moving slow and you can go into the rhythm with every kick as a rep. See, we're going a little flow to it. Now, keep kicking with bicep curls. Whether you kick when it's up or down, you can go boom, up, boom, up, so a little slower. If you want to, you can pump those arms a little faster and get two for every rep, whatever works. One for every rep, I don't care. Whatever way it's gonna work for you. Kick it, kick it, kick it. Boom, boom. Now we're gonna keep front kicking, but you're gonna go shoulder presses, right arm only. Bam, but you're alternating legs with the kick. A little pump to it. Pumping it. And now just left arm only. Alternating kicks. It's gonna take a second sometimes to click that shit in your brain. Okay, come this way so you're on. Left arm only. We're gonna keep kicking. Right arm only biceps, let's go. So it's going front kick, 
while you're pumping out the bicep. Your alternating arm is a little awkward, so right kick, left kick. Pumping it, pumping it, pumping it. Left arm. Takes a second sometimes. <laughs> I'm ready to push it up in the air. So kick while you're curling it. You're doing the kicks. And good. We're going to keep the kicks going. And as much as it sets up by, your hips and legs are still going to be feeling this, but just not any crazy impact is what we're trying to avoid today. So now alternating one arm at a time while you're kicking. So bam, you could go opposite arm if you want. That's what I'm going to do. So my right arm goes up, left foot kicks. Left arm goes up, right arm, right leg kicks. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. So you see the exercise stayed the same, but we're just mixing up the variation with the dumbbells. Same thing, kicks with the biceps. Bam, so I'm going opposite. Boom, bicep. One arm at a time, boom, boom. Kick it, kick it. Squeeze it. See, now you know why we had lightweight. You don't need heavy weight for this. Especially this is a slower pace round. It's gonna get faster and faster and we're going these long rounds without putting the weights down. Back to the shoulder press, both arms moving. So check it out, find the rhythm. Just start by pumping the arms and then just start kicking. I don't care what rhythm it goes in, figure it out. Tighten up your core, that's what's gonna hold you together. Kick the leg. If you can't kick, look. Just march in place if you have to. Right here. If you can't kick. If you can, figure out a rhythm. Hold your abs tight. Control your freaking body. Time kicking with all same bicep curls. So start palms in curls. Once they get in the flow, just start alternating kicks. Separate the two. Your body's gonna want to shoulder press it. Don't let it. It's an alternate kick. Time. And that was just kind of a practice warm round to get used to the different movements. We're gonna pick up the pace of different types of jacks, squats, all kinds of stuff for the legs. So stretch those shoulders out. Stretch the quads out. Go find the quitter. Stretch the quads. Stretch the shoulders. Shake it. Just getting warmed up. Stretch those hips out. Hip flexor. Stretch it. Reach. Stretch them right across this hip flexor. Stretch those hamstrings. Lower back. Fling the chest open. Stretch it. Shake it. Stretch. Get some water. And we're going to start the next round here in a couple seconds. All this next round is going to be is body weight squats. Body weight squats is our exercise. Go on in. Huh? All right, grab those dumbbells. Let's go. We're doing squats with the double arm presses. So if your presses, if you have lightweight, you can go faster while you're squatting or you can just make it like I'm gonna do it a squat to a press. 
just gonna pump it out, squat to a press. It's gonna be a lot of squats here. But we will take a quick second in between each one. Squat and press. Yeah, it's hard doing like, like fast while doing a squat. That's why we're going rhythm together. Time. All right, you're gonna go squat to curl. I'm just gonna keep my palms in and right here so I get a little rhythm to it. Squat curl. Just pump it out. This was much heavier weight. Your legs are already be frying, your arms are already be frying. We want long sets with a tempo. All right, squat. Squat to the single arm press, just right arm. Your left arm is just gonna hold, the, hold this ground. Squat, right arm press. Full deep squat, pump it, breathe it. Throw it up. And squat, left arm press. Chuck it up. Pump it, a little rhythm to it. This is why we went lightweight. Have a little flow. All right, squat, right arm curl. Palm in, palm up, whatever works for you, however it works. Squat, right arm curl. Pump it, keep working, keep moving. Breathe it out, breathe it out, breathe it out. Full tempo, lightweight. We're thinking of this as a cardio session. This is cardio conditioning. This is not your strength session. Left arm, squat, left arm curl. Breathe it, abs are strong. Head is up, chest is out, sitting on the heels. All right, right here, you're going back to the shoulder press. Alternating arms, one arm at a time. So squat, right arm, right back down, squat. Left arm, little flow to it, right arm. Breathe it out every time you push up. Out of sight. Shoot it up. Ha! Little tempo to it. We're going some high reps here. A lot of squats in a row. Even though I told you it wasn't going to be lower body, that meant it wasn't going to be impact or plyometric on the lower body. Of course, it's still got to work. Good. Go to squats. Alternate. Squat. Right arm. Squat. Left arm. Do what you got to do. Breathe it out. Dig, 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 a couple more each. So long rounds, just getting your whole body moving. All right, back to alternating arms. So it's gonna be a little tricky. Start with just pumping the arms, both moving, and start squatting up and down, whatever works for you. Wow. <laughs> it's hard at the bottom. I can't get that left arm up at the bottom. If it's jacked, but do what you can. Just keep squatting, keep pressing. It's supposed to be awkward. We're working your body different than you're used to. Oh yeah. And good. Same thing for curls. Get those curls going. This one's gonna flow a lot better because the arms are down. Just keep pumping those curls. Two to three for every squat. Pump it out. You're beating the fucking drums. Beating the damn bongo. Pump it, squeeze it. Work in your body. Time. Toss those suckers. Shake it. Stretch it. Stretch the shoulders. Rotate them. Keep the blood flowing. Get some hydrogenation. Hydrogenation. And you're ready for the next round. Ooh. Next round, we're going to be combining all those in with different types of jacks, different types of jumping jacks, regular jacks, with all those variations of shoulder presses and all those variations of curls. So get your hamstrings ready, your calves, get it ready. Those legs should be working a little bit. After all those squats, even though it was lightweight, it was so many reps in a row without putting those little dinky weights down. Just stay loose, shake it, stretch it. Keep the blood flowing. It's active recovery here in between rounds. 
Keep it moving. Not just sitting still. No. Let's do the same. The exercise, leg exercise changes. It was the whole same the whole time. All right, next one's gonna be jumping jacks. So what? just literally your feet are just jacking while you're doing those different exercises, presses, curls. Some of these are gonna take some time for you to get your shit together, for you to get your coordination together. But listen, if I could figure out in these clumsy white bones, if I could figure it out, you could figure it out. If that offends you, I don't know, sorry. Too fucking bad. It's a free workout, complaint to management. All right, let's do it. So you got double arm, it's the same rotation of all same between the shoulders and the buys, the same way we did that in the, all the other rounds. We're just changing up the lower body exercise. And, and I can already feel my arms are already getting pumped up. This is how you get lean and stay lean is by training different, rotating different movements like this all year round. You don't need any cra anything crazy. Look at this, little dinky 10 pound dumbbells. Get my heart rate up, working my upper, my lower like crazy. Core and coordination and balance, let's do it. Palms in, our palms are gonna stay in for all these presses this entire round. So palms in pretty close and tight. Go, jack press up. So you push them up when the feet go apart. Breathe it out. Good. Now, jack, curl. So when the feet go apart, the palm weights are coming up. Keep the palms in. And then together, bear here. It's gonna be a little slower pace so your arms can stay pace with the jumping. So together at the side, the bottom. When they come up, feet go apart. Together and down, bang. Up, down, apart, together, apart, together. Boom, squeeze it tight. It's gonna help you keep the flow, squeeze it tight. Three, two, one, done. Back to presses, alternating the shoulders, right arm, left arm. I oh, know, sorry, just right arm. Let's hold that left arm in place, right arm only, go. Switch, left arm, jack press up, left arm only, go. Feet go apart, weight goes up. Same thing for curls. Feet go apart, right arm curls up. Together, boom, right there. Right arm only. Left arm, curl with the jack. Time. Supposed to be legs off today? Don't feel like it. I know. This is more legs and arms. Shit. Fuck that one up. All right. All saying arms in the jack. Right arm together. Left arm together. Apart with the right. Apart with the left. Jack press up. One arm at a time. Three more each. One. One. Two. Two. Hey, hey, we need the same thing for curls. Same thing for curls. Right here. Let's go. One, one. So the feet come together, the weight comes down. The feet go apart, the one side goes up. Four more each side. One, one, two. Two, three, three, four, four. Time. So we're not doing the both moving, because that doesn't really work with the jacks. It goes so much nice and smooth. Just by alternating. So shake it out. Stretch it. Shake it. We have shuffling coming up. All we're going to do is shuffling side to side while we're doing all those movements with the arms, with the dumbbells. So get those calves, hamstrings 
stress out ready because all this bouncing you've already done and now we're going to be shuffling so you don't need a ton of space instagram i have limited view but you can see you don't need a ton of space one two three four three to four strides is all we need so you'll be shuffling while you're pumping those arms out you'll be shuffling it out stretch those hamstrings stretch the quads the glutes the calves Shoulders loose from all this flicking the weights around. Shake it and stretch it. Alright, let's do it. If you get your weights up, you're gonna hold them right here. Shuffle. So don't forget, you're doing double arm press while you're shuffling. So find, go behind or in front. So find a rhythm, look, check it out. So you're just shuffling while you're pressing double arm. And then change direction while you're still pressing. Breathe it out, boom, boom, boom. Pump it, ha, 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 good. Shuffling, double arm curls. Right here, you can keep the palms in with the waist to your side, squeeze them tight so you can get a pump to it, a little flow, a little rhythm. Change sides, pump it out. Shuffle with a curl. Working your whole body here. A little strength conditioning, coordination, your core, cardio, your grip strength. Leg conditioning, all right, now we're going back to the shoulder press, but sticking with just the right arm. So left arm's gonna stay at home, locked in, so you're shuffling with just the right arm pumping. Right arm only, blasting it out. Dig, hop, you're too close, you're making me roll my foot back a little bit. Right arm only, pump, pump, pump. A little bounce in your step, a little rhythm, a little flow, work through it. Close again. Time. All right, shuffling with left arm press. Go, shuffle side to side. Left arm, shoulder press. Go with the range of motion that works for you. Go with the speed that works for you. Oh shit, the right arm should be up at the shoulder. So it's out of the way. I had it down too. Bump it. Time. Now shuffling, right arm bicep curl. This one we're gonna keep the left arm at the side. No, we're not. Left arm up, because it's just in the way. So right here, pump. Just pump in the right arm. Now you see why I said to get a light weight, because you have to toss it around with a little flow, with a little rhythm, while your whole freaking body's moving. You can do this a heavy weight, but you're just gonna move slow as shit. You'll get strong, but you won't get the full cardio effect, the conditioning effect, the coordination effect we're looking for. Small lifting's tomorrow. Fine. All right, left arm. Left arm bicep curl while you're shuffling. Go. Right arm stays up. Pumping it. Pump that left arm. Bicep curl. Good. Alternate shoulder press. This one we're only going to do where they're both moving. So not the one at a time. Or one at a time. Any kind of alternate you can while you're shuffling. So I'm going to start off alternating them. And then I'm going to get into the shuffle. So you can make it work. If I'm moving both at the same time, it works better for me. Do whatever works. As long as you're alternating the shoulder presses while you're shuffling, keep it moving, suck it up, and time, and shuffling with the bicep curls, alternating. So I'm going to pump those arms to start, and start shuffling. 
So you're going side to side, both arms moving, blasting it out. Push the pace. And listen, if you have too light of a weight and you want to go longer and you're doing a recording of this, just pause the video and add an extra 30 seconds to each of these. If this is too easy for you, if it's too hard, you just cut it sh shorter or do it with lighter weight. Time. Fuck that. Shake it, break it. Shake it, break, break it. All right, we got split jacks coming up. That's with the feet moving front to back. So you're gonna be still bouncing on your freaking legs. So get your legs stretched out. Get your hamstrings stretched out. Quads, glutes, calves, stretching. Feet loose, keep the blood flowing. And of course, keep those shoulders loose. And hydrogenated. Hydrogenated. Stretch it, shake it, get ready for the next round. Middle of January, end of January, and we're out here in tank tops and flip flops, working out. California gun laws suck, California government sucks, but as long as you block out all the bullshit, it's fucking awesome. Look Even at my this. My teacher admitted it today. What? California government was bad. She said that? Wow. She was like, the, Finally. you might, you might want to do something else when you grow up, because like the California government and like everything. Wow. I was like, wow. They really shouldn't even be saying that one way or the other. She shouldn't be trying to influence kids, but at least she has a half a decent head on her shoulders. All right, let's get rolling. We have a front to back jack, split jacks. Coming up, grab your weights. Grab your little kitty weights. Look at these tiny little things. All right, so we're on split jacks. So split jacks are here, front to back. It's a little slower of a movement, so we're gonna have to time the movements with the arms as best you can. We're starting with the shoulder press, double arm shoulder press. I'm gonna push up every other time. So up when one foot goes forward, down as you switch. Boom, and then pump it out right here. Time. Right to that split, what? Sure. It's like 15, we're doing all these in a row. We 15 reps. No, but. We did 10 on the last round. Oh. Some of those other ones, you wanna do more? Go ahead and knock yourself. No. Pause the video and do more, sucker. All right, curls, double arm. While the feet are bouncing. Boom. Stop before, sucker. Time. My shoelace was untied. All right. Right arm only while you're doing split jacks. The left arm is locked in, tucking into the socket. Go. Left arm only. Go. Right arm curl only. Woo. Left arm stays up. Left arm curl only. Go. All right. Going to alternating arms. Shoulder press, figure it out. So I'm gonna go left, right arm when the left leg is forward, and I'm just gonna switch. Shh, shh. Make it pump the pace. This is one of the main sets of the day right here. The way this goes together. You're working your whole body. We look fucking ridiculous. But it's fucking ridiculous conditioning to do this. Good. And curls, same thing. I'm gonna do my left leg is forward, my right arm is up. And switch, go. Fine, that's around. You're complaining it wasn't enough? That's oh, fine. No, you're saying it wasn't enough. Do some more. Okay. Do some more, sucker. Oh. All right. This next set is going to be. 
On your back. Yes! Doing some flutter kicks. Flutter kicks with these movements. How are you You're going to show a press like that? No, it's going to be just presses. Oh. It's going to be the same tempo with just presses. So we're going to do different kinds of flutter kicks or alternating leg lifts, however pace you need to do it, with palms in presses. So we'll do the same type, double arm palms in press. Next set will be just right arm. Next set, just left arm. Next set, alternating one arm at a time. Next set, alternating both arms moving. So you'll be on your back, flutter kicks, doing palms in press the whole time. Figure out what type of flutter kick works for you. If you need to put one leg on the floor while one leg is up and bring it down and alternate, modify it, don't fuck up the lower back. Figure it out. We're on a slant, a slope, so I'm gonna have my feet going that way. Let's do it. All right, starting palms in, double arm, palms in press, while you're flutter kicking, go. Good, we're gonna come down for a half a second, give that lower back and hips here as a break. Now you're gonna do flutter kicks. Both legs alternating with just the right arm pressing. Go. I don't care what rhythm you do, as long as you slice the right arm, as long as both legs are moving. Look, if you need to, you do this. Bring it down. So one leg can touch the floor. Do what you have to do. Modify it before you stop. Die before you quit. I said that a long time. Done. Bring those legs out for a second, give those hips a second of a break, and left arm press, go. Good. And alternating arms. We're just gonna do it with both arms moving or one arm at a time, whatever works for you. Alternating legs, alternating arms, burn it out. So I'm gonna go right leg, right arm up with the left leg and switch. Look, right in stride. It's just like that shoulder press with the front and back jacks. Your whole body working together. This is a total body freaking movement right here. 20 more. One, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, zero. Toss those little toy weights. Get off your ass. And listen, Good job. any of those that you want to do again, repeat. I'd say to start with, if you're going to repeat any, the main ones to do for a longer amount of time that you're going to get the most bang for your buck that you probably feel are the split jacks with the alternating presses right here. Boom, you're working your body like crazy, your coordination, your abs have to hold tight to constantly shift your weight. That is like one of the main sets of the day. So, you feel free to do that again for another set. We need to sign off here. We might even bang out another set ourselves. But then also do the set of that flutter kick with the alternating arms where it went in stride. Those two right there will have your body working like mother flipping crazy. And you can't do that for too long. It's basically, you've seen those machines, those like climber machines, those Versa climbers, that's what you're doing, except you're moving the damn weight yourself. Which is why you see I only needed to use 10 pound weights my core has worked, my legs are fried, my heart rate is up, I'm dripping wet, arms are freaking pumped up, and we're just going to hit some stretches here, some cool downs and stuff, so you can do that on your own, don't forget to always warm up for every workout, cool down, stretch after every workout, and listen, if you need any help with your personal daily disciplines in all areas of your life, check out the link down in the comments for the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. It's 40 days, 40 nights of daily disciplines. Habit stacking, adding new disciplines every single day, new habits to your routine every single day for 40 days, and it will completely transform your life and help you get laser beam focused. It's broken up into four different sections. It's the mind, the body, your business, and then self and social is the fourth section of the Freak Mode 40. So check it out, the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline 
habit challenge, 40 days and 40 nights of compounding interests and compounding habits. It's a force multiplier in your life. It's the daily lessons I use every single day to have control and to run multi, several businesses at the same time and still stay focused, still have more time to spend my kids than anyone I know and have a motherfucking blast while doing it all. And as a byproduct, making a shitload of money on top of that. So check out the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. Check it out. You can also check the link in my bio here on Instagram and attached to this video. So if you have any questions on that, any questions on this workout, comments, anything, put them down below or just send me a private message. I will talk to you later. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. Freak show anything you want to tell them. normal child that can't yeah, imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.